Some students and parents on edge tonight after a so-called hit list turned up at a local middle school. Officials at Griswold Middle School say they know who the list came from and they alerted parents. But in this day and every age, every threat is taken seriously. News aide's Noelle Gardner is live in Griswold tonight. Noelle, school officials jumped into action immediately. Is that right? Jocelyn and Darren, exactly right. School officials did jump in action, but so did the state police. They're investigating that seventh grader. It is definitely concerning that, you know, a young child wrote a, a letter like that. Parents are uneasy after they were alerted a seventh grader at Griswold Middle School created a death note listing names of classmates. The school superintendent sent this email to parents. Monday morning, the Griswold Middle School administration became aware of a list of individuals compiled by a seventh grade student in a death note booklet. As a result, the state police began an investigation into the matter, and the student in question is being disciplined in a matter consistent with board policy and the outcome of the police investigation. While the school and the state police are treating this situation in the most serious of manners, it does not mean that it is unsafe for us to conduct regular school business and end-of-the-year events at Griswold Middle School. Parents are reacting to this letter. Disturbing, scared, frightened, and uh, you know, want to know what's going on. It's unfortunate that one child, you know, because he's still a child or her, could make a death note like that and you know cause you know, certain chaos within the town. The families of the students who were on the list have been notified and the student under investigation will not be in school for the remainder of the year. Still, parents say it's disturbing. It's pretty frightening. It's, uh, you don't know what goes through kids' minds at that point. Um, and when people hear something like that, they wonder why or maybe something going on at home or and again, that seventh grader won't be back here to finish up the year, and that year ends on Friday.